now in the arena is the Pike coming out Baptist Monday. Church. How you doing, bro? Help! Walk past Catholic. decided that they would push homosexuality and abortion to lessen the population to decrease it. Did you fathers know that God ordained you to be the head of your household? He ordained you to teach your families His Word. Praise the Lord. Way to go, preachers. Way to go, preachers. Awesome. Thank you. Praise the Lord. And you refuse to And you'll be saved. Guys, I don't go to hell. Praise the Lord. A holy Bible to even look at. Do you people really understand how many babies have been murdered in this country since abortion took effect? Over 63 million. Over 365 babies 
a day in this country. Right now, if it wasn't for immigration, this country would only be about two-thirds its original size. People, judgment is coming. And when it comes, all of the mockers and scoffers are going to quit mocking and scoffing and start wishing that they had listened to those people that cared enough about their soul to come and try to warn them about God's wrath. People, you need to repent of your sin and turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Okay, when do you go to a start? Friends, the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by him. The world will tell you that heaven will go to heaven. So this is the Pike Baptist Church, their uh, booth at the Wyoming County Fair. And this is Pastor Marvin Holmes. Do you have anything to say, Pastor? Well, it's interesting and a place where you can get the Word of God. And that's why we're here. There is a judgment coming. The Bible says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Each and every person will be present at the judgment seat of Christ. Each and every person will be judged according to those things done in this flesh, whether good or bad. Each and every person is going to be judged for every idle word that passes through your lips. Now you think about that, people. And the thing that I really wonder is what is it going to take to get the attention of people? Is it going to be when God says, Thou fool, this day is thy soul required of thee? Well, I have news for you, people. If that's what it takes, then you will be too late. You need to repent of your sin and turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. If you're telling yourself, well, I'm a pretty good person. I haven't really hurt anybody. Forget it, people, because God says that the righteousness of men is as nothing but filthy rags in his sight. The only righteousness that God recognizes is his own, which is imputed unto those people that repent of their sin and call upon the name of 
of his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said of himself, I am the truth, and the life. No man liveth to the Father but by him. Tell me, what is your life? The Bible says that it's even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanisheth away. Yet in this life, and this life only do you get the opportunity to repent of your sin and call upon the name of Jesus Christ. People, this country is in trouble with God. Why would that be? Think about it. Since Roe versus Wade, over 63 million babies have been murdered before they've had the chance to see the light of day. God called Sodom an abomination. Oh, by the way, people, in today's language, they are called homosexual. Well, God calls them an abomination, and he will destroy each and every one of them. Tell me, people, when you stand in the judgment, who are you gonna point the finger at and try to blame for what you believe? The lady to my right. Man, God made you the head of your family. You are the one that has the responsibility for teaching your wives and your children the Word of God. When you stand in the judgment and God asks you, why wouldn't you do what I commanded you to do? Why would you not believe my Word? Why would he not believe my messenger that I sent to warn you about the consequences of your sin? People, you need to repent. You need to pick up the Holy Bible and read it. Find out what God requires. Repent, repent, repent. If you don't repent and call upon the name of Jesus Christ, you will go through the second death. When in the judgment for all of those that have repented of their sin and called upon the name of Jesus Christ, it will be well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter into thy rest. For those that refuse to repent and call upon the name of Jesus Christ, it will be depart from me ye worker of iniquity for I never knew you and then he will have his angels bind you hand and foot and cast you into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Is that really what you want? 
Oh, why? 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 Oh,